Welcome to this magnificent volcanic island city rising out of the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Glass towers, waterfront skyscrapers, and quiet neighborhoods all packed onto one tiny ring of land around a single enormous volcano. It's a beautiful place. And if this volcano weren't here, if it weren't such a constant threat, this city could have become so much more. The skyline might have kept growing, pushing higher and higher. Maybe they would have even built a sister to the Brooklyn Bridge, stretching across the bay, tying this island into a vast Pacific megacity. But that never happened. Everyone here knows the danger. Over time, investors pulled back, families packed up, and people slowly moved away, leaving behind a half-finished dream wrapped around a sleeping giant. So today, this city becomes our laboratory. In this video, we're going to test exactly what it's afraid of. We'll trigger a mega earthquake that snaps the ground 10 feet to the left and 10 feet to the right in an instant. We'll blow the volcano, sending a shockwave racing through the air at roughly the speed of sound. We'll flip gravity sideways and see what happens when every building is pulled toward the horizon. And we'll unleash a massive landslide roaring down the volcano's flank. None of this is real, of course, but the physics are. Let's find out how this island city really falls apart.
What you're seeing on screen right now is not a video game. I get that comment all the time. What game is this? But these destruction scenes are actually the result of thousands of hours of work. Every building in this volcano city was built in Blender 3D, brick by brick, wall by wall, door by door. I set up special breaking thresholds for different parts of each structure so that when they crack, bend, or collapse, they behave more like they would in real life. It's not just one big block that explodes, it's thousands of tiny pieces all following the rules of physics. To make these videos possible, I'm currently using 10 computers working together. A single 30 second scene can take around 10 hours on one computer just to calculate the physics and render all the frames. So when you see a building crumble in a few seconds, there's a very good chance it took most of a day in the background to make that moment happen. This particular Volcano City simulation is one of the most complex I've ever done. The 3D model contains around 43,000 separate objects and about 42 different material groups. That means things like antennas on top of buildings, exterior walls, steel beams, glass, trees, street cables, and even the ground itself are all in their own categories, each with different properties. This is what allows concrete to break differently from steel and trees to react differently from glass or rock. My goal with this channel is not just to destroy virtual cities for fun. I want to spark your curiosity about science, physics, earthquakes, volcanoes, and how the world around us really works. If you enjoy these kinds of realistic simulations and want to help me keep pushing them further, you can support that simply by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I want to stop you for a moment. These destruction simulations look cool on screen, but in real life earthquakes are serious and can start very suddenly. There's one main rule I want you to remember. Drop, cover, and hold on. If you feel strong shaking, drop to the ground so you don't fall. Cover under a strong table or desk and protect your head and neck. Hold on to the table so it doesn't move away from you. Here's one fact many people don't know. Most injuries in earthquakes come from things inside the room, falling glass, shelves, dishes, and TVs, not from the whole building collapsing. That is why getting low and protecting your head is so important. Another important thing, in real life, most modern buildings, especially skyscrapers, do not collapse easily in earthquakes. They are designed to bend and shake without falling down. The most dangerous buildings are old unreinforced brick buildings and mud constructions, which can break and crumble much more easily. If you live in this type of building, try to learn about how it can be strengthened and always know your safest place inside. I know many of you watching are from the Philippines, Indonesia, Turkey, Mexico, or the Western United States. These are beautiful places, but earthquakes and volcanoes are a real part of life there. So please, look around your home, school, or workplace and find a safe table or desk now. Talk with your family and friends about what to do when shaking starts. If you want to learn more about real earthquakes and volcano eruptions, I also made a short documentary in Hawaii that you can watch on my channel after this video. At the end of the day, these simulations are just pixels on a screen, but the dangers they show are real. If this video helps you remember one safe place to go, 
or one action you can take in an earthquake, then it already did something important. Stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you in the next video.